And this cold spell in the valley could potentially cause some issues to our roadways. Channel 5's Cassandra Garcia is braving the conditions for us this morning. She spoke with textile officials on how they're preparing for this weather. Good morning, Cassandra. So first off, how does it feel out there right now? Good morning, Sandra Trey. Well, just a few minutes ago, I was okay, but let me tell you, the second that that wind picks up, I start to literally shiver. I'm freezing right now. I'm definitely gonna have to zip up my coat after this, put on some gloves. You don't wanna leave that hat, that coat, those gloves, especially if you're anything like me and this weather is not your cup of tea. Now, the Texas Department of Transportation says they will begin pre-treating roadways throughout South Texas starting today in preparation for that patrol potential those potential icy roadways. For now, our plan is to pre-treat bridges and overpasses in the northern parts of our district, such as northern Hidalgo, uh, Brooks, Willacy, Kennedy, and Zapata counties uh, for possible icing. If there are any shifts in the forecast and we see a threat of ice to more areas, we would adjust accordingly. And despite sending 14 members from the TxDOT FAR district to Fort Worth to assist with winter operations, TxDOT spokesperson Ray Pedraza assured me they still have enough resources here in the district to handle whatever situations may arise. And as of right now, those crews are set to return on Saturday back home to their families. But remember, keep warm, get I'll get, bring out that coat, bring out those hats, do what you need to do to stay warm. Live in McAllen, Cassandra Garcia, Channel 5 News this morning.